All right, now to show off some of my uh, recent pickups. First thing is Duke Nukem 3D World Tour. This is the 20th anniversary edition for the PS4. It's also for the 360. Uh, GameStop exclusive picked it up for 20 bucks. If you guys are into this game, I, I definitely would pick it up. Uh, again, it's GameStop exclusive, so I'm sure it's going to be somewhat hard to find in the future. Um, I have Duke Nukem 3D like on five different systems, but it's that good of a game that I don't mind picking it up for another for a fifth or sixth time. Got this uh, very nice, still brand new uh, PS4 headset. This normally goes for a hundred bucks. I got it for 60 bucks. That was the Black Friday deal. So pretty cool. All right, next is a very nice little uh, Super Mario mug. Got this from GameStop for 15 bucks. It's it's pretty heavy actually, and uh, haven't taken it out, but from the front it looks pretty cool. All right, that's all the console stuff. Everything else, I've been kind of going uh, arcade crazy, and I uh, found some amazing deals on eBay, which is really the only place I'm going to find arcade stuff. But uh, yeah, so these deals I couldn't pass up. Um, so I have two Sega Net Cities. That's my old uh, Naomi motherboard with Capcom vs. SNK. I already had that. I just took it out of my uh, cabinet upstairs to test the new one out. And the deal I got was a new Sega Naomi motherboard, Spawn in a demon's hand um, power supply unit and this is a um, converter so that lets you play this kind of uh, motherboard on your standard uh, wood cabinets with uh, JAMA connections um, if you guys don't know what JAMA is, JAMA is kind of like the arcade standard you know all the Street Fighters are on there all the Marvel vs. games whereas the Sega Naomi is a JVS so it's a different format um, as you can see, these games are JVS format, so that's all that is. It lets you play uh, these games on JAMA cabinets, and uh, it's a crazy deal. I got it for 200 bucks, $50 for shipping, and it was the motherboard, spawn, the converter, the power supply unit, and all the cables. Now, this converter alone goes for about 150 to 200 by itself, so to get all this other stuff was pretty crazy. And it even came with uh, the Naomi service manual and the manual for spawn. All right, moving on. Another pretty crazy deal I got. Actually, this is separate, but I got this. Uh, I think they call this a net dim board for the, uh, again, Sega Naomi. And pretty much it just goes in here where the cartridge goes. And this works with the Sega Naomi GD-ROM drive. There you go, GD-ROM drive. Pretty cool. So I got those two things and the cables for them. And what this is, uh, some games were released on GD-ROMs, like this one that I also got, Capcom vs. SNK2. And this game was only released on GD-ROM. So the only way to really play this how it was originally made is to get the GD-ROM. So what this does is you hook up the GD-ROM to the Naomi motherboard the information from here gets transferred to this as memory or whatever you want to call it and then the game gets played off of this so you're not constantly running this GD-ROM and initially there is a long loading process but once you get going there's no more loading and again there's certain games you have to get the GD-ROM for to play them they only released on GD-ROM so I got this and this for like 200 bucks and this alone you'll see go for 200 by itself so that was again a real good deal and uh, this I kind of paid full price because I really wanted it this was 100 bucks straight from Japan got the CD the paperwork the marquee stuff the moves and the little uh, security chip that goes in here so yeah those are the finds for the last couple weeks month or so uh, so now I'm going to show you guys a little clip uh, once I install this it, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money just to play that one game but I mean if you guys have played Capcom vs SNK2 it's one of the best fighting games out there so you know I think it's worth it even though it's just one game um, you know there's nothing like playing it on the actual hardware with all the actual components kind of like you know it's it's different playing with a cartridge than it is with a with a, a ROM on an emulator it's just a lot more cool a lot more fun a lot more authentic playing it this way. So, all right, here's that clip I was talking about. Here it is, up and running.
pretty cool. Yeah.